Let me give you a hypothetical situation. Papa only gives you 15 lakh rupees to buy a car. You can buy a base Virtues or an N-Line for it or he gives you the option of taking his old LNK Octi. What if I told you if you join both of those ideas together, you can get yourself a car that is very close to M340i drag race territories. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. I am here at a very hot Hyderabad and let me tell you, the heat is not only being brought by the weather. This is an all-wheel drive stage 3 1.8 Octi that is absolutely blistering fast. Let's talk all about it today. Given that this is VAC Master's very own car, best believe that most of the parts that are in this car are from the VAG family itself. Now, coming from the rear, this Akrapovich tip is just the tip. The muffler is from a VRS230. Now, the mid pipe comes from a Golf R. Let's check out the side profile. Now, talking about the side profile, you can see that these are on 18 inch Audi TT rims. Yes, it's on Bilstein B6 dampers, but the springs are from a VRS230. Check the front wheels and you can see that you've got a 340mm EBC rotors but the calipers are again from a VRS230. If you did not have any of this livery, uh, all of this Wagmaster livery, this car would definitely be an absolute sleeper just because of all of the magic that's happening inside the bonnet. Let's check it out. Let's open up the bonnet and check out all of the madness that's happening because it's really a madness. I've got my phone out handy so I can tell you this long list. Of course, it has an ECU and TCU tune from Venom Performance all the way up to stage 3. It comes with an IS38 turbo. It comes with a high pressure fuel pump and a low pressure fuel pump from a Golf R. And the high pressure fuel pump has been upgraded by Autotech. You also have a DQ250 gearbox with an all wheel drive from Holdex. Uh, upgraded injectors, Denso spark plugs, a turbo muffler delete from CTS, a turbo inlet from CTS, an R600 racing line intake, a go fast bits diverter valve, a Miltec downpipe, a Bilstein B6 suspension as I said, springs, a Golf R resonator uh, and for some more rigidity it's got VRS anti-roll bars in the front and in the rear making this an absolute package that costs 15 lakh rupees if you've got yourself an LNK or any Octavia Gen 3 by that chance you can get yourself something that's absolutely ballistic in 15 lakhs so let's just get on to driving because I want to show you guys how fast that this car rips Apart from all of these mods, the wheels are from an Audi TT and with the tyres, they cost 80,000 rupees. The brakes are from a VRS230 that costs 50,000 rupees and in the interior, you have a Sportline steering wheel that costs 35,000 rupees. Besides the steering wheel, everything on the inside is stock and is a very comfortable place to be in for a car that pushes 350 bhp and 500 newton meters of torque to all four wheels. With all of the mods in place, the total build cost of the car comes to a whopping 18.58 lakh rupees and considering the fact that the car is running a conservative map, the car can push upwards of 400 horsepower. And well, is it worth it or not? There's only one way to find out. is how easily you can absolutely rip the car and not bother anyone in the neighborhood because this is a mass production uh, exhaust system, muffler, whatever you call it except the downpipe which is a Miltec downpipe and yes the downpipe does give it a little bit more noise but 
the muffler is rather silent so you are pushing the same amount of power but this is a mass production muffler so it is uh, going to adhere to the standards of quietness that every country uh, kind of expects so this is not an aftermarket muffler and it is quiet enough for you to not bother the grandmothers in your society the next thing is the way you are propelled in front this all wheel drive system with the DQ250 is ridiculously ballistic so the shifts are perfect super crisp as we always expect from the DQ250 and the DSG gearbox and the all wheel drive system is front biased uh, but what it gives you is a lot of confidence while chucking it into a corner now that you've got uh, a little bit more propulsion and torque vectoring in the rear you are capable of holding higher speeds in corners with less drama and that makes it so much more uh, confidence inspiring that you can be faster than any other VRS with an LSD oh my god tunnel Sorry, sorry, camera moved. But yeah, so it is not that loud as I said, and uh, but it is loud enough for you to enjoy that raspy noise while ripping it inside a tunnel, which is good news. The next thing that I want to talk about is the brakes. This thing, when you stamp on the brakes, the front brakes have an amazing bite. Now that you've got slotted discs in the front and those DRS calipers. So while sending it, if you need to actually press the brakes, this thing stops and it stops on a dime. The best thing that I find from this car is its duality. If you put it in drive, the car is an absolutely normal mass production field car. But the moment you turn it in S or manual and you use the entire rev range, this thing rips there is no better way to describe how this thing moves ahead it literally rips the road apart what i did not like about this car is that it lacks a little bit of drama but this no nonsense behavior is something that people would really like if they are as more sensible than me because this really works as a dual purpose car it is a very normal car in d but an absolute monster in S. So you can drive it to work if you want to drive it uh, sanely. However, I do not like driving cars sanely even to work. So I am going to keep it in S and check this out. Hold the camera tight. Yeah, that's the turbo lag. It is a little bit aggressive once it switches on that spool into the block but it is very entertaining and if somebody wants to bother you on the road it is more than enough for you to absolutely embarrass a stage 2 VRS. So that's more than enough in my opinion. Now if you ask me would I pick this over a VRS? Well if you think about it sensibly this makes so much sense now think about this you have 35 lakhs in your bank account and you wanted to get yourself an rs245 what if you spend 15 on this and 20 on building it and then you've got yourself something that is as fast as maybe a stage 2 vrs stage 3 borderline vrs so this is the sensible man's choice if he needs to This is the sensible man's choice if all you want is power and a little bit of luxury. If you want the VRS just for its interior, for the badge and I mean the circle that it gets you in, then yeah, go for it. But if all you want is the fun that you get from the VRS, well, this in my opinion is more fun. Honestly, 
I cannot think of another car or any other build that can reach 12 seconds and do it consistently on a 400 meter strip at this price point. I mean, a Mark 3.5 Octi can cost you anywhere between 15 to 16 lakhs in the second hand market and add maybe another 15 to 18 lakhs over that and you've got yourself a car that can do 12.5 seconds consistently whenever you ask from it. If you tell me that 30 lakhs is a lot of money to do 12 seconds, I'm pretty sure that you are not considering the competition. If you want to do 13 seconds, 12 seconds in a real car from factory, you're going to be paying at least double of that. And that is the most impressive feat of this specific car. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Let me know all of your thoughts about the 1.8 Octavia TSI. See you. Bye.